Hey guys, just a quick video. Let you see what I'm up to at the moment. Uh, I've slowly gotten back into the painting mode. Uh, not got a lot done over the past week, but I've managed to do a little bit. Uh, so what I've decided to do was, I had actually uh, ordered up a couple of packs from Penny Miniatures just before I went on holiday there. And uh, you guys may have seen them on their site or on the on some of the pages on the on the internet and that. Uh, the two packs which I bought from them was two of the Waterloo vignettes uh, packs. And the first one which I'm working on at the moment is uh, this I'll show you the box first. This one NX1 and this vignette is represents the uh, the capture of the eagle of the 105th regiment of the French infantry uh, and these are captured by I think I'm just looking at the, the writing in the Paris site here uh, it was captured by Captain Clark and Corporal Styles of the 1st Royal Dragoons so first up so we've just got some of the basic colours and that one for them the two French infantry guys here this one here this is the uh, the eagle bearer and as you can see he's sort of on his way down he's, he's been sort of slashed a hat by one of the guys with the swords and he's sort of fallen down yeah, nice sculpt this really nice so just a few colours on him and the other guy here the great coat this is actually a drummer who's sort of running as these guys are coming charging at them he's decided to <laughs> leg it quite quickly so nice miniature again as you see the, heart, the hand up over his head trying to protect his head and that so nice sculpt and the other thing here is the actual the ego on the pole so I've just made a start with that as well so that's that it's there and finally here are the two Royal Dragoon guys, we'll just move the camera up slightly yeah uh, yeah so here's the two guys, here's one of them as you see the arms out reaching reaching out trying to grab the, the pole as it's going down and here's the other guy who's had a stab at one of the French guys as well really nice sculpt and the interesting thing about these guys uh, these are all cast in one normally a pair of cavalry figures come with the uh, the rider and the horse separate but these are all in one castings and in fact I actually like these I think I actually prefer painting the only one castings I think they're brilliant the good thing about these as well is you know, the legs obviously because it's all in one casting really fit neatly around the horse when sometimes I tend to bend the rider's legs in to try and get them to, to close in on the horse but I say these are really nice sculpts again so uh, with these guys as you can see I've just started with the horses getting that sort of out of the way just about complete there two different shades of brown did a wash putting all the the horses uh, tack and that and that's given a wash as well so I'll, I'll get started on the figures after I think I'll finish the two French infantry guys first and then, then I'll do these two so that's the first pack the other pack which I have which I haven't even cleaned it up yet the fingers up are nothing yet but uh, the next one is NX2 and this one is uh, if I remember correctly I think yeah here we go here's the fingers here so first of all yeah this one represents a capture of the eagle of the 45th regiment French line infantry and this is the Scots Grey Sergeant Ewart lovely sculpt again you see all in one rider and horse casting very nice uh, the interesting point with these same as the, the other guys in the pack is you'll see the rider he's got a hole in his hand there which is quite good and the sword comes on and there's a little spring there along with the eagle there's a sword there and he just cut it off at the end and poke it in the hole and super glue it on that's good that's the other thing you get in there although I'm just looking at that 
just now when there's a bit of quite a bit of flush in the end of there. But anyway, that'll come off. So that's the first guy in the net this pack. It's got it's great. Very nice figure indeed. So we'll lay him there. The next one you get the pack is this French line lancer. Again, all in one casting. And he's obviously been slashed by the sword and he's fallen back on his horse. And this is a fantastic sculpt. I really like this one. Uh, lovely. You know, it looks so natural, the guy falling back off the horse. The reins up in the air. Lovely, lovely miniature. So I'm looking forward to painting this guy. So that's him. That's the second one in the pack. The third one um, is a, a private with the 45th French line of the regiment. He's having a go at the Scots Grey with his bayonet. Oh, and a nice figure and great coat again. Yeah, nice one. And lastly, there he is. The guy who's... Well, he... Yeah, this is a lying down figure. You're lying like that. This guy's already been hacked down by the Scots Grey. And that's actually the eagle bearer. Yeah, yeah. Nice figure. Blanket roll. Well, I just noticed there's actually a, a bit of miscast there on the hat. But uh, well, I managed to fill that in with green stuff. I have noticed that lately, a lot of the Perrys, uh, their casting hasn't been that good. Although the figures are lovely when you clean them up, but yeah, I've been a bit disappointed lately with the casting of them. But yeah, okay, I just, we'll get that filled in and that should be okay. Right, so that's that. And as, uh, the other little bits that you get in the pack is the lance for the lancer and a sword. Oh, and at the moment, I'm not too sure what that sword is for, but uh, we'll check that out. I'll have a look at the the picture on the site and see what happens with that sword. It's maybe just one that sort of lies down. Maybe it's just part of the diorama set. Yeah, just lying on the ground beside the dead guy or something. But anyway, so that's that, guys. So I'll just leave you with a final look at these. So once I finish the first set, I'll paint these, and then hopefully that'll be me back in the swing of things. Oops, and uh, hopefully in the near future I'll have some more things to let you guys see. So, wish you all the best with your hobbying, and uh, catch you again soon guys. Thanks, bye bye.